नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू चेंज द सेंटेंसेस ऑफ प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस पास्ट सिंपल टेंस एंड फ्यूचर सिंपल टेंस इनटू पैसिव वॉइस इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव गिवन यू एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू एक्टिव पैसिव एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस सो दैट यू कैन बी ऑन ट्रैक बट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरीथिंग विद रूल्स एंड विद लॉजिक so i promise that everything will be clear to you after watching this video so present simple tense so before starting changing the sentences of active voice into passive voice i i want to tell you one thing that you should know okay how to recognize the tense of the sentence when i will write a sentence on the board immediately you have to recognize that this sentence is in which tense if you don't recognize the tense you cannot change the sentences of active voice into passive voice or to need or to learn how to change the sentences of active into passive you need to learn that the sentence is in which tense first of all i will write a sentence on the board he delivers he delivers the letters he delivers the letters he delivers the letters this is the subject this is the main verb and the letters are the object the letters are the object he delivers the letter this sentence is in active voice active voice this sentence is in active voice but how you will change the same sentence into passive voice how you will change first of all you know that in active the rule for simple sentence is subject plus v1 plus s or es plus object subject plus v1 plus s or es plus object deliver deliver is the first verb deliver is the first form of the verb and delivers so delivers as or es is given so delivers tells us that this sentence is in present simple tense first of all if you come to know that this sentence is in present simple tense then it will become very easy for you to change it as i have already told you that that uh, subject become the object and object become the subject then how you will change it first of all the letter the letters the letters not letter the letters this is a plural then we will use are the letters are deliver third form of the verb the letters are delivered by him full stop he changed into him and she is changed into her i have told you in my first video that how we change i into me he into him she into her we into us they into them it remains it you remains you your remains your and who is changed into by whom who is changed into by whom so you need to keep these things in mind so what it become the this is the this is the subject of object this is the subject of object because here it is the object and here it become the subject this is the subject of the object and this is r so subject of the object plus is m r is m r is m r according to is m r always according to subject plus v3 plus preposition by plus object object of a subject object of a subject so you just need to understand this and in all the tenses in past simple tense and future simple tense we will follow the same rule the letters are delivered by him he delivers the letter this is this sentence is in present simple tense but if you have to change it into if you have to change he delivered he delivered the letters he delivered the letters now note delivers this is delivered he delivers he delivered the letters so 
so this verb this main verb indicate that this is a past simple tense when second form of verb is given it is always a present simple tense i i will write it here second form and did indicate and in this sentence first form we one you can write first form plus s or es or do or does so these by these things we always recognize this is present simple tense and second form plus did second form if second form is given and in negative or interrogative sentences did is given so he delivered the letter the sentence is completely same he delivers the letter there is a slight difference of uh, the main verb he delivered the letter then how you will change how the letters the letters letter is a plural then you will use were same delivered third form of the verb is delivered by him full stop the letters always delivered by him in this active voice second form of the verb and passive voice was were in passive voice we always use was and were in passive voice we always use was were and simple sentence in future simple will be and shall be will be and shall be we always use so the to change the sentences of active voice into passive voice pattern remains the same you just need to focus and you just need to recognize the tense of the sentence if you learn when you will see a sentence simple sentence when you see a sentence immediately recognize that this sentence is into which tense if you come to know immediately you will feel no problem in changing the sentence of uh, that tense i will and uh, same is the case with if you have to change the same sentence if i she if i write listen to me if uh, you will change she will or oh, sorry he will he will deliver he will deliver the letters he will deliver the letters he will deliver the letters now will will indicate that this is in a future tense because after will or shall we always use first form of the verb in present with the first form of the verb as or yes in past second form of the verb and i am discussing only affirmative sentences simple sentences with you he will deliver the letters he will deliver the letter then how you will discuss how you will change the letters the letters will will be i have written it here that in active voice will and shall be given in passive voice we will use be with shall and will the letters will be delivered now third form of the verb delivered by him full stop listen dear students i have changed the same sentence same to same sentence into past simple tense and few i have used the same sentences to past simple tense and future eh? simple tense sentence because pattern of changing the sentence is same but i have told you one thing you just have you just need to recognize the tense and i will teach you how to recognize the tense and let me take some more examples let me raise it let me take some more examples i will change the same sentence then i will teach you how to change the negative and interrogative sentences first of all if i write on the board reporters 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 write news reports reporters write news reports reporters write news reports let me start it from here the sentence is correct but the space is less so i am starting it from here reporters reporters write write news reports 
न्यूज रिपोर्ट्स अगेन रिपोर्टर्स दिस इज द सब्जेक्ट राइट फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब फर्स्ट फॉर्म फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब द न्यूज न्यूज रिपोर्टर्स आर द ऑब्जेक्ट न्यूज रिपोर्टर आर द ऑब्जेक्ट सो फर्स्ट फॉर्म आफ्टर लुकिंग एट द सेंटेंस फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब इज गिवन यू केम टू नो दैट दिस इज प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस आई विल राइट द सेम सेंटेंस इन टू इन टू पास सिंपल टेंस सो रिपोर्टर्स रिपोर्टर्स रोट द न्यूज रिपोर्ट्स रिपोर्टर्स रोट दिस इज द सेकेंड फॉर्म कीप इट इन माइंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट फर्स्ट फॉर्म प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस रोड इंडिकेट दैट दिस इज पास सिंपल टेंस एंड नाउ रिपोर्टर्स रिपोर्टर्स विल राइट विल राइट न्यूज रिपोर्ट दिस इज विल इंडिकेट दैट दिस इज फ्यूचर सिंपल टेंस यू नीड टू कीप इट इन माइंड एंड द पैटर्न इज सेम यू जस्ट हैव टू मेक स्लाइट चेंजेस and with these slight changes you will be fluent you will be expert in changing the sentences of active voice and passive voice there is there is no difference in changing the sentences pattern in all the sentences is same you need to focus on the tense and go according to the rule what i am going to teach you so first the rule is first of all subject become the object and object become subject become the object and object become the subject so news reporters news reporters reporters news reporters now with news reporters reporters means this is plural there are a lots of reporters what you will use are or is you will use are so are news reporters are news reporters are news reporters are right news reports not reporter sorry news reports this is news reports i have written sorry this is news reports i have written news reporters news reports are written are written by by reporters news reports are written by reporters because we always use in passive this is in active and in passive we always use is am r plus is am r plus v3 plus by plus object and here we always use subject plus so this become the subject and if you have to make negative then we just have to add not in the same case we will learn reporters wrote the news reports so news reports news reports what is the helping verb in passive voice what is the helping verb so i will write here the formula news reports were because reports are, uh, is a plural plural noun with plural noun you always use verb news reports were written written by news reports were written by reporters reporters news reports were written is the third form of the verb in here it is right and here it is wrote and come to the third sentence in third sentence what you will use you will use reporters reporters will sorry news reports not reporters news reports i will write here news reports news reports will be will be written will be written by reporters reporters news reports will be written by reporters and if you have to make the sentence negative you just have to add not after the helping verbs like news reporters write news reports and news reporters you will use news reporters do not write do not does not 
does not and if did is given so i will clear each and everything with examples so let me take the examples of uh, negative sentences then everything will be clear to you in negative sentence in present simple sen sentence to make the sentence negative we always use uh, do and does with simple with a singular verb we always use does and with plural verb we always use uh, do and uh, in sentences and in sentences like uh, in past simple in past simple tense to make the sentence negative we have one helping verb that is did with plural as well as uh, with singular first of all if i if i write on the board do they win the match i will write the same sentence here did they win the match if i write question mark question mark and will they win the match will they win the the sentence is same i will change the same sentence i have written the what's the difference in the here it is do here it is do, did and here it is will because this will help you to recognize the tense if do and does is given in the sentence obviously it is present simple tense for sure if did is given it is past simple if second form or did is given it is past simple past simple did they win the match this is interrogative and so and will they win the match they do not i, I even uh, first of all they they do not questions are interrogative and how to change the interrogative sentences so do they win the match did they win the match will they win the match sentence is same the difference is of only helping verb how to change it do they win the match first of all the match you you have to write subject is changed into object this is subject listen to me this is very easy to learn forget it you have to forget it forget do so sentence is same for they will they win the match the sentence is very simple for you so how you will change it it become subject and subject become object the match the match the match is won by you the match is won by you this is affirmative sentence but if one thing you need to keep in mind that in active voice and passive voice if a sentence is negative you will keep it negative if a sentence is interrogative you will keep it interrogative you need to keep it in mind so first of all the match is won by you this is a change of a affirmative sentence but the sentence is negative and at the end question mark is there so we have to keep it negative sorry we have to keep it interrogative and when a sentence become interrogative when helping verb comes before the subject so you will write the is here you will write is here is the match is the match won by they they change into them not you they change into them is the match won by them and question mark is there if you have if you will not put the question mark at the end of the sentence and you have changed the sentence completely and correctly and not put the question mark at the end so you will not be given any marks so to put the question mark at the end is mandatory for all and next is did they win the, the pattern remains the same but you just uh, come to know that this is in past simple tense so they how to change it did the match the match the match the match is singular the match is singular what you will use with singular in what is the helping verb in past past simple sentence in passive voice was were was the match was the match won by them was the match won by them and question mark same is the case in this sentence how you will change so will will the match will the match 
विल द मैच बी वन पाए दैम क्वेश्चन मार्क वॉट्स द डिफरेंस विल दे विन द मैच वी नी चेंज इन टू वोन थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब एंड बी बिकॉज इन पास्ट टेंस वी यूज वाइल चेंजिंग द सेंटेंसिस ऑफ एक्टिव वॉइस इन टू पैसिव वॉइस वी यूज विल बी एंड शैल बी सो विल द मैच बी वोन बाय दैम सो दिस इज how to change the interrogative sentences and how to put the question mark at the end of the sentence after changing correctly so this is the pattern to change the sentence interrogative sentences now i will change one or two negative sentences among you in front of you sorry so you will learn how to change the negative sentences into passive voice negative sentences into passive voice negative sentences if i if i take the same sentence they if i take the same sentence they do not they i will take the same sentence he does not help me he does not help me he did not help me he did not help me and the third one is he will not help me full stop again the change is of helping verb here does did indicate past simple and will not indicate future simple and does or do always indicate present simple so how to change it subject become object object become subject me i have told you that me change into i i with i we always use is from is am are we always use am i am i am not because if a sentence is negative we will keep it negative if a sentence is interrogative we will keep it interrogative i am not third form of the verb helped by him i am not helped by him same is the case with the, this sentence i i was not helped i was not helped by him because in passive voice helping verb is was and were but we use was with i in conditional sentences only we use were with i and next is how you will change i will be helped i will be helped by him full stop this is a way to change the negative sentences into passive voice now the sentences which starts with wh family the sentences which starts with wh family how you will recognize the sentence is in present simple tense or past simple tense because maximum questions these are reflexive pronouns are always used to ask questions these are always used to ask a questions so how you will recognize that the sentence is in which tense starts with wh family suppose if i write is if if i write where do you where do you where do you lose your purse where do you and question mark and in the same uh, i where where did you where did you lose your purse where did you lose your purse where do you lose your purse and the third if i write that i will not take the same sentence who will who will oppose you who will oppose you question mark keep looking at the board and you will understand it in a much better way you just need to do one thing you need not to change the sentences you need not to change i have told you who is always changed into by whom this is the one thing you have to keep it in mind who is always changed into by whom rest of the sen 
रेस्ट ऑफ द मेंबर ऑफ डब्ल्यू एच फैमिली वे आर वैन वाई हाउ विच दे ऑलवेज रिमेन्स द सेम सो यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन इट वेयर नथिंग टू डू विद इट लेट राइट इट एज इट इज वेयर रेस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस विल रेस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस विल रिमेन्स द सेम वेयर डू यू डू ऑलवेज इंडिकेट Uh, that this is present simple tense because you know that do and does is always used in present simple tense interrogative as well as negative so do indicate that this is present simple tense first form of the verb your purse your purse is object lose is the main verb and your purse is object and you is subject subject is changed into object and obje object is changed into subject but at the end we also use question mark because sentence is interrogative then we have to keep it interrogative with wh family you will not do anything so where your purse where your purse your purse is singular or plural your purse is singular where is your purse where is your purse lose lost 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 by you and question mark where is your purse lost by you and in the end question mark the next is where did you lose your purse so where again remain as it is where did did indicate that this is past simple tense and the helping verbs are was were where was your purse your purse lost by you and at the end question mark listen to me why we are using helping verb before the subject because again w h and main adjective this is the this is subject this is main verb and this is object so object here become the subject where your purse your purse is singular singular with singular we will use was so we will use was before the subject so that we can put the question mark what mistake student always commit they always commit where your purse was then the sentence become affirmative if you will use was after the your purse then it will become integrate inter it will become affirmative and you cannot put the question mark at the end if a sentence is interrogative you have to keep it interrogative so how you will change it so where was your purse lost by you and last is who will oppose you who is i have told you by whom by whom by whom will by whom will and you is the object by whom will you be opposed by whom you will be opposed and at the end question mark this is the way to change the sentences of wh family those who are in present simple tense where do you lose do indicate that this is in present simple tense where did you lose did indicate that this is in past simple tense and who will oppose you will indicate that the sentence starts with wh family who where so but will indicate that this is in future simple tense so to learn the to learn how to change the sentences of active voice into passive voice you need to recognize the tense of the sentence so if you will recognize then you will face no difficulty in changing the sent things become very much easier for you very much easy for you if you learn how to change the sentence i will write for some few more sentence if i say why why do you beat him why do you beat him this is very simple to change see everyone can change the simple sentence but student face difficulty in changing why do you beat him why is a member of wh family it will remain as it is why and you you is the subject beat is the main verb and him is the object and do is the helping verb this helping verb indicates that this is in a present simple tense do if there is does if there is do so it clears us that this is present simple tense so why do you beat him so why he changed into him and him he changed into he why is he why we have used here he he is a singular subject so with singular subject we will use is why is he beaten third form of the verb beaten by you and 
question mark and same you can change here why did why did you beat him why did you beat him question mark so why did indicate that this is past simple tense so you need to recognize it did immediately when you see the did in the sentence so it is obviously past simple tense for sure then you have to change according to past simple tense why well, you will there is no change in why because wh when a sentence starts with wh family you will not change it only who you change into by whom why will remain as it is again you is the subject this is the main verb this is the object and helping verb helping verb is used to tell us that this is past simple tense so why why was he again bitten by you question mark why was he bitten by you and the next is who will oppose you sorry same sentence i will use in future simple tense same sentence why will why will you beat him why will you beat him tum use kyon pitoge why will again there is sentence starts with wh family but there is will will indicate that future simple tense will and first form of the verb indicate that future simple tense is there change it according to the future simple tense why why will he be bitten by you and put the question mark at the end without question mark your sentence is incorrect so why will he be you will always use be after the subject keep that in mind you will always use be after the subject so what's the like what's the rule to change it interrogative sentences so will plus subject plus b plus v3 plus by plus object of subject subject of object and object of subject this is the way to change will there is why will remain as it is will so will subject is he sub oh, subject is him he me change into he and after subject plus b b here use v3 v3 bitten by by is there and you you is there so i have i try to clear all your doubts on regarding the all these three tenses present simple tense past simple tense future simple tense i try to touch each and every each and everything whatever i can teach you regarding these tenses and how to change the sentences in my next video i will discuss the next tense next tenses till then stay safe have a nice day thank you